In this video, we're going to take a look at how we save, name, and upload files to Sakai. So here we are. I've just completed my masterpiece in processing. Look at that. Square after square after square. No one ever said I was square. So first I wanted to go in and make sure that I've placed my name in this document. Put those in some comments at the top of the file. I've named this piece to infinity and beyond. I don't think anybody has ever used that line before, but it's pretty good. So we're going to use that. And I go in and I say save. You'll see it's going to save it into my sketchbook. I'm going to give it the name, uh, well, how about mjaded to infinity and beyond or something like that. So that way it has my username in the file and it also has enough uh, of a description in the file name that I understand. I remember what it is. All right, so it's replaced a few things with underscores because processing is that way. And then I'm going to go, well, I guess I should, uh, what am I going to do here? First thing I need to do is I need to auto format my code. Now you can't see what it did, but if I move that out of alignment and I come back down to format code, you can see it cleans up all of the indenting in my file. That's a really good thing. And you can do that while you're working to help make the code more readable. From there, let's see, I think I did a save. Now I want to archive the sketch. So I go to archive sketch under the tools menu. It has a reasonable name and it adds a date to it. And you see it's a zip file. And that means it compresses a whole bunch of things together. So the zip file is an archive of all of the files that are part of your project. Now I've flipped over to Sakai and I go to the Dropbox. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a folder for this particular laboratory. So I'm going to say create folders. I'll make this lab one. And I'll create the folder now. And then I go into that folder and I say add and upload files. I'm going to browse around into my sketchbook folder. Where is it? There it is. Select my zip file, which is the archive of my project. And I'm going to leave the display name as it is. That's just fine. In fact, it, we'd prefer if you didn't change it. And there you go. I've uploaded one of the three projects that I would have created for assignment one. So as you do future labs, these are the steps that you'll go through to submit your work. This work is made available under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license.